Now, before we move on to the real device configuration, there is uh, some additional configuration that we need to do is to set up our Android environment globally as well, right? In order to access some ADB commands, as in what you need to do is uh, your SDK is installed somewhere inside your user's profile and your profile name and the app data folder which is a hidden folder make sure you enable to view the hidden folders so open this inside local inside android this is your software development kit which we installed uh, just now if you open it you're gonna see some folders over here one is platform tools and one is tools so we need to do some uh, configuration global configuration for this so copy the root folder that is SDK go to your environment variables and create create a new system variable with the name Android underscore home and paste the path of this SDK click on ok you will see Android home created now go to path variable and click on new type Android home percentage backslash tools so we are giving one tools folder and the other one is platform tools so again percentage Android percentage platform tools so these are the two folders that you need to configure click on ok go to command prompt and see if the command prompt is already open on your machine then you need to first exit it then again open it to see the changes uh, that happens after we configure the environment variable so say adb devices so it says adb is not recognized uh, it is still not able to pick up this adb let's see let's see uh, could be a reason if i go over here check the path variable oh okay i can see there's a spelling mistake it's actually platform tools click on okay 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 go to command prompt again and say db devices should show your device id so this is your emulator which is up and running at the moment right and this is what is showing up over here if i turn off the emulator if i say shut down and if i again do this uh, right now uh, i need to close it basically so saving state and then it will close it and now if you do it you won't find any device attached to your adb right so over here this uh, will actually going to show up all the devices be it virtual device be it uh, a real device all these devices you're gonna look at when you do adb devices right if you're not getting any device id then it means there is a configuration issue with your virtual device or your real device because till the time the id won't show up you won't be able to perform any testing on that device right so if you get your device id your major configuration for android is done all right so these are a couple of things that we need to do in the next lecture we're gonna look at how to configure the real device all right Thank you.